jab, right uppercut, left uppercut, slip, slip, right hook, left hook, double jab, right uppercut, left uppercut, lovely, good, good, good. Yeah. Come on, come on, good, you Sorry. Sorry, slept in a bit. My landing got off. Don't worry about it, that's an in shell. Right. Come in, yeah? BAM! God, why do you have to be so loud? Oh, shut up, you silly cow. We'll tell you both up on the wrong side of the bed, can't we? Yeah, you shut up. Morning, Vic. Morning, Georgie, you alright? Yeah, not too bad. I'm not really used to being up this early either. Oh yeah, George just made a documentary. Oh, about what? Me, of course. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Wait, are you filming now? Yeah. Oh my god, don't! I look awful! <laughs> oh, yeah, look at the camera, babe. Oh. Look at the camera, George, you're filming. Oh, yeah. Look at the camera. Stop. Let's get ready. Go on, eh? Good luck today, alright? Thanks, babe. Bye. Good to see you, George. You too. <laughs> okay, tell us about today, what are we doing? Know something to yeah, but I think you said earlier, good luck. What's the good luck spoke before? I'm not telling you, George. Why? Because every time I tell you something, yeah, I end up jinxing it. That's not true. Oh my god, it's so true. How, how is it? Look, just wait to see, yeah? Let me see the camera. Right? <sighs> so, like, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. So, fucking ugly, George. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, weighing nine million pounds, it's the one, the only, Jack No Mercy Mercy. <laughs> Come on, put it away, get ready. Come on. You put it away, Faye. So, that was path, and I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of it. How long is it from here to the gym? Three miles. <laughs> he should be knackered before he gets in the training. I pay no gain. True. I'm glad I'm not him. Glad I don't do it anymore. Is there any uh, comedy in this film? Um, not really. Well, we're just filming as it goes, really. Yeah. Watch this. That was really fucking funny, that, innit? Well, fucking hurry up, you got to get down there. Yeah, cheers for waiting for me. Well, no pain, no gain. You want the glory, you gotta take a sweat with it. I've got an M, fuck off. Why well, won't I tell her then? <laughs> Bye, Ray. See ya. <laughs> Did you see his face? Yeah. Classic. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Hold it. 
Go in, go in. Square. Oh, shit. Time. It's all right, get out. Hard lines, mate. Stay with you all day. Over tomorrow, yeah? Soldier, you should jab it at me. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> one, two on the ropes, double cut, cross. Dogs are good and found like a sack of spuds. Get the show you stink. You alright, Harry? Yeah. Yeah. Alright then, mate. Yeah, no problems. I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, give me love to your wife and kids. Yeah, tell them, mate. Bye. Put yourself a fire. <laughs> My fucking lips! <laughs> <laughs> well done today, Reese. Cheers, mate. Jack, he's gonna win, isn't he? Of course he is, he's my boy! <laughs> Back in the day, I was known as Jack No Mercy Mercy. I was heavyweight champion from 1988 to 1995. Boxing had been good to me, opened a lot of doors, gave me a lot of opportunities. Before I retired, I was declared bankrupt, lost a lot. Had to sell everything, the house, the cars, the jewellery, me and my wife Donna, divorced, moved into the estate. Shocked and scared me see what the kids were doing, getting up to it because there was nothing for him to do. Started doing odd jobs, brick laying, labouring, shutting doors around the yard, anything just to get some money in. This place come up, go somewhere where the kids to go. My father was a boxer, I was a boxer, now it's my boy's turn and he's going to go the distance. Just watch and see. I don't know anything else. Every punch I've ever thrown, my old man showed me how. Boxing's all I know. Come on, Reese! What? He's always like this. <laughs> you would think, you would think it's my most important day, life changing day, and he's. <laughs> I'll just get my jacket and we'll go, come on in, Dave, get up. <laughs> get up, I've been getting up every five minutes, waiting for you, you lummox. Uh huh. Alright, I'm ready, I think I've just hit the car. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're definitely go. ready now, are you? Yes, come yeah. on, fat boy, let's go. You got your hair in place? Yes. Come on then. Got your cap in place? Yes, yeah, right, let's just go. Start all that, I'll knock you out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Bye, right, Reese. What? Are you excited? <laughs> I can shit myself, mate. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. He's an old friend. He's the best in the business. Go on then, tell us who we're meeting. Harry Lewis. And who's that? Go on, tell us. Only one of the biggest boxing promoters in the UK. <laughs> That's right, baby. Harry Lewis. Woo -hoo! Hey Jack, thank you. So here's mate. How are we doing? Harry. Good to see you. Yeah, good, yeah, good. Keeping well? Yeah. Yeah, certainly am, mate. Oh, I know you, yeah. indeed. Oh. All right. How you doing? I'm alright, yeah. He's grown, isn't he? He has, mate. He's grown. He's only a little boy when I last saw him. He has, he's shot up, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, come on then. Shall we go inside and do some business? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. come on then. Ready? Yeah, come on then. Shall we go inside and do some business?
everything okay? Come on. All right. Thank Christ. Right, all I need now is your signature on there. All I need is your pen. Wants to take his time this one, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Let me do my piece. All right, celebration time, I think. Let's go for a drink, shall we? Yes! yes. Get it. First of many, son. First of many. Cheers, Al. No, 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 no problems at all. Can you take a part of this, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done? Yeah. yeah. It's all about the boy now, it's all about the future. Thanks for doing business with us. Yeah. It's a pleasure, it is an absolute pleasure. You're gonna be a superstar, you know that. You've followed in your dad's footsteps, you're gonna be great. Oh, okay. All right, Jack, why are we leaving it so long? Mate, look, come over, next time you're over, I'll get Tina, she'll rustle up something, yeah. I'll hold you to that, bro. I'll hold you to that. You absolutely better, you better. Right, boys, catch up with you. All right, cheers, mate. Good to meet you. Cheers. Oh my god, did I just start from George? Did I just start from yeah. me? Yeah, man. I'm told you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my god, yeah! Yeah, the paperwork's all signed, we have ourselves a fight. <gasps> oh my god, no! Oh my god! <laughs> you happy, yeah? Yeah, I'm so proud of you! <laughs> it's sick, innit? I'm um, just with Dad and George now. We're gonna come home in a bit, alright? Hey, Vicky! Bye, Vicks! Alright, oh we'll see you in a bit. Alright, babe, alright, I'm coming back. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, I love you too, bye. <laughs> what do you think then? Oh my god, it's well exciting. It's good, isn't it? Oh, you worked so hard for this. What do you mean, don't work hard at all? <laughs> no, he deserves this. 100%, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You do realise your phone that's been going off non-stop? Are you dead? Oh, is it? What? Hang on. Yeah, Spar TV or something. Yeah, what about them? Well, they want to talk, I don't know, I've heard a voice from something about... Oh, well, give it here, then. You or... Oh, you want to know yeah, now, Yeah, please, then? come on. Give him a phone. Go and get it. <laughs> 11pm? Yeah, that's even better, because that fits in with Reese's training schedule. What, me? Pfft, God, no, I've gone past that, love. You never get me in the gym, but uh, ring again now. No, not even for TV. <laughs> yeah, nice try though. Um, yeah, so next Saturday at the gym, 11 p.m. with Martin. Right, thanks again, Julie. Cheers then. Bye. Bye. Son, this is big. Yeah, been interviewed by Martin Bradbury. But you like this, Vicky, down the gym, don't you? <laughs> My oh, brother's not going to be enough to get a damn gym. You reckon? Absolutely. Proud of you, boy. When you're on camera, be yourself. All right? Don't big yourself up. I didn't bring up a chaff. <laughs> I've been in this game a lot longer than you have. I know how it works. All right? It's got to be a reporter. It's got to be a reporter. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, How you doing, man? Oh, good. Boy. Good. How are you? You alright, mate? Yeah, I'm good. You're looking well, looking fit. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're looking strong. Good lord. This is Jack Mercy. Good what what an what? absolute pleasure to meet you. How are you? I'm good. I was a huge fan of yours. Uh, really? My father as well, yeah. Yeah? Unbelievable. What's that sign? Uh, Dennis. Really? Yeah. I'll get the interview out, right? I'll give him a quick ring. That would be fantastic. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's no problem. Um, gents, uh, the crew's just uh, just getting the stuff out the uh, the car. They'll be able to get set up. There's a few okay. guys who aren't here yet. The traffic's a bit mental. What? Um, but uh, if we take you guys inside, <coughs> get set up, would that be okay? Just fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Come on through. Yeah. Nice vibe, bro. Thank you. Well, if I'd known your father was going to be here, I would have given it a given it a bit of a clean. Uh, for you. <laughs> <laughs> it really is a great pleasure to meet you. Wow. That's no problem. Right. Thank you. Just make one of these fine. Wow, so this is what it 
And she feels one. No. I'm a little bit nervous with yeah. you. I mean, you, 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 you both talk. Ah. Well. <laughs> what are you doing, you tit? <laughs> no, just go with the shoulder, hit him, knock it out, and then come up with the uppercut. Must be quite nice to get to whack your dad. All those years when he's been telling him what to yeah. do, and now you get to knock him out. Yeah, no, it's painful. Right? <laughs> you nice. champions of Ollie on this floor, on this gym. Yeah, we've got a nice little board up here of. Uh, We've got some juniors in here, which Dad and I coach. Um, I don't really do it much now because I've got to dedicate all my time to myself, really. I'm going to talk. I'm going to do it, but I did it. So it's like that. <laughs> right, well, I'm shooting myself. I think I'm going to get out. <laughs> What's your step, mate? Oh, thank you. What's it like having a world famous champion boxer as your father? He's always been there in my corner, making sure that I've gone down the right channels in life and teaching me everything I know. So yeah, to me, he's just been my, <laughs> he's just been my dad, you know what I mean? Jack, obviously for you, you've reached incredible heights in your career. How does it feel now looking at your son for him to try and fill your shoes? What is, what is your feelings towards that? Big boost to Phil, but he's um, on work. Yeah, don't worry. Mm. But. I mean, you, you've, you've reached such heights in your career. Your success is phenomenal. And, you know, for any aspiring boxer, surely you've got advice for them. But what would be your advice for your son and for other kids that are watching trying to reach the same pinnacle as you have? It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of sweat, a lot of sweat and tears and dedication. But you've also got to keep your feet on the ground. Whatever you earn, whatever you get. Mm. Yes, I reached a pinnacle, I had it all. Sure. I always lost it all over the night. Sure. So you've got to keep your feet on the ground. Mentally, how has it been for you to prepare for this? Um, considering <laughs> that you have your father as a trainer, does that add pressure on top of it as well? We're spending all day together, you know. We can't just leave the gym and then go home and clock off, you know. Like, has a massive effect on our relationship as father and son, but... You know, each other's pockets, sweating in, sweating in the same buckets. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. I've still got a few yeah. tricks up my sleeves up and teach him. I've got some changes here. Jack, for, for you, having been through what you've had in your career, now that you're training your son to go into the ring, I mean, it's a big fight coming up. You know, huge expectations. Do you feel that sense of wanting to get back in there, wanting to put the gloves back on? Does it make you feel like you need to go and throw that punch again? Watch it in. It's my buzz. Um... I'm over the hill now. <coughs> I couldn't run for a bus now. Um, four or five miles and do eight hours in the gym. Um, I spar with him. That's my buzz. Watching him do what he does. I don't need anything else. Reese, Jack, your gentlemen of the of the game. Thank you very much for having me here. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I look forward to to seeing you at the match. I am going to be there, yeah, yeah, and I'm hopefully, I get the first interview afterwards. Oh, but, we'll, we'll uh, make it happen. We'll make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Best of luck to both of you and uh, may your dream continue. Yeah. Thank you. Pleasure. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to love this. Hey, Dad. Hi. Hey, can you hear me okay? How are you? I'm all right. Can yeah, you? Yeah, quite, quite. Okay, cool. How are you doing? I'm all right. Listen, a few perks of the job. Guess who I'm with? Hello, Dennis. Support. Wow. Wow. You all right? Dennis. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, how are you doing? I'm good. 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 What a great fire. Well, pleasure to see you again. My God. Oh, I watched all your fights, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Martin yeah, was telling me. Yeah. 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 Good. You're brilliant. Brilliant, mate. Nice. I'll, uh, I'll get uh, Jack here to sign something for you, Dad, and we'll bring it back for you. But uh, I thought you'd enjoy this one. Uh, we lost the connection, but listen, okay. thanks, no thanks so much. I really appreciated no that massively. No he's gonna, no he's gonna no love problems. that. Good. No, that meant Good. a lot. Thank you. No problems. He's, he probably turned it off accidentally. My dad's still trying to figure it all out. <laughs> all right. See you guys. Yeah, bye. 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 Siege. I want that car. Win the fight, and he's gonna have about three on the drive. Yeah. 
Set me free and give me death, there ain't no other choices When I lay down to go to sleep, I keep on hearing voices Little whispers in my head, man, is you fake or loyal? Why no water, that's the sign of baby, pick your push These little demons living underneath my bed, creeping Know the real monster lives above them all, sleeping That subtle breathing in your closet every single evening Thought you'd never see me again, looks can be deceiving When they hear the sound of the drum They'll be saying, oh Lord, here they come Yeah, here we come Huh, here we come <laughs> Here we come Here we come I used to think that people die because they wicked nowadays People want to see you dead because you get to being ready for my tunes This is uh, Reese guy, Reese He's a walk in the park, mate Paying you a visit, saw it coming, I predicted but y'all wouldn't listen, no you can't protect your riches If you never burn bridges, flip pages, went places Made changes, still dangerous, now I'm back Altercation, hold still, I make it painless How it feel, baby? When you say you love me, is a real baby Full speed, both hands on the wheel, baby Young Taz coming from the mobile, baby You know the drill, baby, yeah And when you hear the sound of the drum We'll be saying, here we come yeah, here we come Hey, here we come uh, Here we come Here we come Yeah, here we come Reese, throw the towel now mate while you can I'm coming for you hey, Here we come <laughs> Do you know what? I think you're a little bit drunk. I leave the drink alone. Whatever. Have no, a minute of your time, please. Please. <laughs> your dad's a bit drunk. I think so too, Georgie. No, no, Georgie, I just bought you a takeaway. Not far from the truth of being drunk. <laughs> well, I'd like to say, it's very nice that an old man like me can spend an evening with whippersnappers like yourself. It makes me feel very proud and happy. I've inherited another son. What, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> I'm about to inherit, a, not inherit, let's see, I'm drunk again now. <laughs> <laughs> inherit a gorgeous future daughter-in-law. Oh, steady on now. Plenty of time for that, get the fight out of the way first. At <laughs> least <laughs> you've come a long way. <clears throat> Done me proud. But that title fight, there's one more thing I want you to do for me. What you're doing, the pleasure and honour of wearing them. Dan, uh, I can't wear your shorts. You can, and you will. Can you raise your glasses to Reese, please, everyone? Aww. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love you all. Cheers. Right, on that note. <laughs> Oh, He's got ready for a club. <laughs> you not passed it, really? old man. You soon see when we get to the club when I've got more birds' telephone numbers than you've got. <laughs> oh, mate, do you know what? On that night, I'm going to bed. You coming? Oh, you haven't even finished your drink. That's all right, I'm leaving it. Okay. <laughs> oh, Thanks, 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 when I'm on a mic, Kim C's get rinsed. Could have been Monty, it could have been Prince. Man came to the clash of all of his men, never know when I ain't seen him since. When I'm on a mic, Kim C's ain't worthy. Could have been Monty, it could have been Verdi. Move too certain, you're on it from early. I'm not Stormzy, but I man get murky. When I'm on a mic, Kim C's ain't worthy. Could have been Monty, it could have been Verdi. Follow Rachel and the King of Dad. Thank you, Jack. Jack. Wake up. Georgie, Georgie, Georgie! <laughs> Come on, we gotta go. Have a good night? I've had a very good night, I can't even stand up. You're blinding me. <laughs> oh, we got that cab's outside though, we gotta go, man. Cab? Yeah. Oh, uh, you go, mate, I'll walk home. I need to go to a piss, I'll sober up with you. Sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that, Chris? Yeah. Love you, boy. <laughs> Yeah, my father's body was found by monkey traders this morning. 
the coroner's and CMD was a heart attack. Is there anything I can do? Anything you can do? Why don't you do something last night, George, yeah? When my dad was dying, why don't you do something last night? It's like a dad to you, yeah? You just need to die! Sorry, bro. To the rest of the world, Jack Mercy was known as a heavyweight champion boxer back in his prime. Um, to me, to me, he was just my dad. And uh, um, sorry. news about Jackie was um, was a big shock. It was very sad. We, we went back a long way, did, uh, did me and Jackie. We had a, a lot of good memories, both inside and outside the ring. He was a good friend. He was top, top man. Thing is, he was he was such a big influence on Reese, his life and his his career. I don't know how he's going to deal, um, deal with his dad not being there. So, I have absolutely no idea how this fight is going to go. I just, I wish him all the best. Oh, you are right, Georgie? Hey Vic. How is he? Well, you can see for yourself if you like. <coughs> Come in. Do you want a drink or anything, Georgie? Just a water, please. Yeah. Are you want tea or anything? Or... Yeah, okay. What? Uh, Vic? What? to do it yet, then you should have told me that before I signed on the goddamn fucking Look, line. don't talk to me like that. I know you're hurting, but it's no fucking excuse to talk to me like that. <laughs> you're fucking drunk. I don't even recognise you anymore. Yeah? Fuck it, I don't care. Do you know what, Vic, yeah? You're so unfucking happy here, yeah? You're so unfucking happy? Fuck off then! You don't talk to me. What am I supposed to do? What's he doing? It's just Georgie, hey? he's come to see if Why are you filming, right. Georgie? There ain't gonna be no more fucking film, mate. I can assure you that. You can fuck off as well. So it's all your fault, where mate. Where you going? Yeah, walk out like you're good at, then. <sighs> see what I mean? I don't know, George. I'm just... I 
can't get through to him. I don't even recognise him anymore. I just feel useless. You're not useless. I mean, you've been there the whole time trying to get through to him. He's been like a brother to me for as far as I can remember, and he's not even talking to me at the moment. But at least you're having arguments with him, trying to get through to him. Yeah. I mean, I even... Nah, sorry. What? Well, I... I nearly called his mum. What, Donna? Yeah. That's, Vic, that's not a good idea, I mean... Yeah, but go... it is his mum, like... She gave birth to him, for Christ's sake. Like, I can't get through to him, you can't. No one else can. She's the only family he's got. I don't know why she hasn't called, like, Jack's death's been all over the news, she could have called, but then, I don't know, like, maybe she's, I don't know, she'll think it, she, he'll be angry at her, or, what, what other choice have we got? He's losing it. Yeah. She might be able to talk some sense into him, I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's give it a go. The only reason you're here is because you saw he died on the news and you came to see what's in the wheel for you, didn't you? That's the truth. Yeah, alright. came back for you, Reese. There's not a day that's gone by where I've stopped loving you. Well, if you love me, then why'd you walk away? You know why. I was ill, Reese. I couldn't look after myself, let alone a small boy. And your dad gave me no support. What'd you say? It's the truth. I'm, I'm sorry, but it is. Do you have any idea what it feels like? Can we second best to a fucking punch bag? When you know that your husband would rather spend more time with another man than he would with his own wife. I wanted more for myself, for you, for the family. I didn't, I didn't want my son growing up, seeing his mum, cleaning wounds, lifting him in out of bed, dressing him every day just because he's too punch drunk to do these things for himself. You, you've got, you've got no idea. What? Go on and say it. You got something to say, Donna? No, because. I'm not, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to destroy your dad's memory, right? Oh, wow. I'll piss off. Reese, just, just want to help you son, that's all. You want to help me? Don't call me son, right? I'm not your son. You, you're not fit enough to be a mother, are you? You're nothing but a dirty, dirty drunk. Reese. Oh, Reese. Please. He doesn't need me. He's made that perfectly clear. He does. And to be honest, so do we. You're our last hope. And if you can't help him, then I don't know what we're going to do. And we have got to get through to him. There was this, um, this guy at my, my AA group. His name's Billy. He was a boxer. He, um, he had a bright future ahead of him. He fought in the Olympics back in 2008. Had a couple of big fights after that. And there was even talk about him going to Vegas. <laughs> but then... Um, then what? It's 
not for me to say, okay? He's, um, he's had a difficult time. Turned his back on boxing and he's blamed himself ever since. He's a builder now and he, he works at that new development down by the station. Maybe you could ask around. Anyway, I am. Um, I've, um, I've got to go. So if, if Vicky manages to find him, you let me know, yeah? Yeah, of course. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. She's a bit shaken up, but I think we've got the beginnings of a plan. Um, yeah, okay. Um, where are you now? Okay, stay there. Um, I'll come pick you up, and then uh, and then I'll talk you through what we're, we're going to do. Okay, yeah, see you in a sec. Bye. Vic, Vic, come here. Come no, here. I'm done with him, George. I'm bloody done with him now. Don't say that. Come come here. You're fucking asshole. Oh, Vic, please, stop. Stop. No, no, I'm going to my mum. Come, come, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Vic, come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can't take this no more, George. I'm exhausted physically and emotionally. I mean, why should we all put up with it? If he can lash out at his own mum, then I've got no hope, have I? He don't mean it, Vic. He's, he's not thinking straight at the moment. No. He needs us. No. This is it now. If he carries on, if he don't sort himself out, then I'm leaving. Okay. I mean it. I'm serious. And I'll make sure he knows that. Come on. We need to go and find this guy. Why does he need me? His dad, Jack. He died, mate. I heard. Sure, there's someone else that can help him. Jack's got connections, hasn't he? Donna said you could help. Donna? Yeah. So what do you think? Can you help us? I don't know. I turned my back on boxing years ago. I haven't been near a gym since. You know what? I've got to get back to work. I wish I could help. I'm sorry, really, I am. At least take my number in case you change your mind. All right. Filmmaker? Yeah. All right, tell Thanks. You're going to be okay? I suppose I'll have to be, won't I? You know I'm always here for you both. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Night, right, George. No. Come on, mate. We need to go inside. Please. I'm not doing it. For fuck's sake! Yes, you fucking are. If you don't, you're going to lose everything. Everything you've worked for and everything you've set out to achieve. And if I can't get you walking through those bloody doors, Vicky's going to leave. Yeah, got your attention now, didn't I? The way you've treated her, mate, and the things you've said to her, it's absolutely disgusting. Now the fight is literally around the corner, and I promised Vicky that I would get you through those doors. Now let's stop wasting the time that we do have, and let's get to work. Fine, let's go then. Feel all right? I hope so. Hands up! Hands up! Down punch! Come on! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Come on! Hands up! Hands up! Come on, hands up! Firing at you? I am, ain't I? Are you? 
Because to me, he looks like a man who wants to be punished. Get back out there and show me what you can do. You want me to show you what I can do? Yeah, it'd be nice. Alright. Alright! That's enough! Hey! 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 That's enough! <laughs> Georgie, do me fam again! Get the fuck out of here! How far I hurt him? Fucking little prick. Get out! It was a pleasure, mate. You alright, mate? Sorry about that. I'm not the bad guy. I know you two were close, and I'm not trying to take his place. But I'm telling you, you've got two people back there who really care for you, and they want to help. If only you just let them in. When you lost it back there, I thought. I thought I was going to kill him. Yeah, I've been there. I know what it's like. Alright, but if you don't get a grip with this soon. What? 2008. Biggest fight of my career. I win this, it's everything. The endorsements, Vegas, the big lights. Everything I'd ever dreamt of, right? Cut a long story short. It's the last round. We're getting a bit tired, getting a bit sloppy. And I had this thought come into my head and I thought, I'm not going to let this opportunity pass me by. And I'll just start laying into him. Everything I've got, left, right, left, right. And he drops to the corner. I go over and I carry on, left, right, left, right. Drops to the ground. So I jump onto the rope, start celebrating my victory. The crowd are going mad. And all of a sudden it just falls silent. They're quiet. Everyone starts rushing in the ring to go and help him. And I heard this scream, this awful scream from his wife when the doctor he told her that the man that she loved, who was dead. I'll never forget that, ever. I know you miss him, I know that. Right? But I'm telling you, if you want this, you've got to fight for it. Right? But the hardest fight you're going to fight is outside the ring. For the ones that you love. Tremendous pressure on Reese. Can he live up to his father's reputation? Who knows? I just hope he knows what he's letting himself in for. I really do. Gotta get him out of this gym, Georgie. Everywhere he looks, just like he just sees his dad everywhere. about a fight. I think Reese is an embarrassment. I think he's going to shit himself. And I think his old man's going to be turning in his grave. Oh, Dante's got nothing to worry about. He's six times champ. I can't wait to sit ringside and watch Dante knock this one be out. Come on, bro. The night belongs to Dante, and this Reese, he's going to have a huge wake up for come fight night.
everybody knows the only reason why we're over there is in this room is because of his old man. I've been fighting professionally for six years. Six years and I'm still undefeated. You should remember that. Well, Dante should remember that I'm younger, faster, and I'm better looking than he is as well. <laughs> but what you should also remember is that I learned from one of the best. Now I'm going to take that belt and I'm going to wrap it around his head. I'm here for one thing and one thing only. Legacy. Legacy? Legacy? <laughs> you throw that word around way too easy, my friend. I was a huge fan of your pops. And now here you are, sucking on the tilt of his success. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Reese, Jensen Clowns here from Q2 News. Do you think you can win this fight alone without your father in your corner? I'm not on my own. I've been training pretty hard with Billy Fist these past couple of months. He's a good guy, he's taught me everything he knows. He's already put motor mouth over here on his ass once before. <laughs> Only this time, I'm not going to put him on his ass. I'm going to put him on a hospital bed. Thanks for coming, ladies and gentlemen. We'll uh, see you fight night. Actually, Harry was there. <laughs> don't make me laugh. Harry Lewis, he don't care about you. He's a boxing promoter for fuck's sake. All he cares about is putting money in his pocket and bums on the seats. Not you. Where was he when your dad died, eh? Nowhere, okay? Where's he been the last few weeks when you've been at your lowest? Nowhere. Harry fucking Lewis. Look, mate, you can't trust that fella. I'm telling you. I didn't, and neither's your mum. All this anger you're feeling, yeah? All this pain, right? Save it up in here, right? Come fight night, you go out there and you fuck him up, okay? You fuck him up! I remember being so ill on this night. I think it was New Year. Did you see that? What? The fucking bird shot in the car. <laughs> Why hope those seagulls don't do that at the beach? Oh mate, just your luck, George. Me and the boys are going to get away for a bit. Head down the coast and chill before fight night. It'll be good to get away from everything and clear my mind. God knows my mental health has taken a toll recently. I lost sight of what's important to me. Vicky and I are taking some time out. She doesn't want to talk right now. And... I get it. I put her through a lot. The thought of not having my dad in my corner scared the shit out of me. I love you, Dad, and I miss you. But the thing that scares me more than anything is not having Vicky in my life again. Dad, you alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Come on, Dad.
I just hope this time apart does us some good. And in time, she'll come back to me. And no matter what happens, I'll always love her. I always have. And I think I always will. Can't wait, you can dress up for it. <laughs> The hardest fight is fought outside the ring. I didn't get it at first, but Billy was right. I know this past couple of months have been tough. I said some shit to you boys that I didn't mean and put you through it. Fuck things up with Vicky, man. <sighs> I just want to say thank you for never giving up on me. To be honest, I don't know how you boys have stood by me. Come on, bro. We got you, alright? For life. Yeah, man. And then what happens on fight night? We're always going to be in your corner. One hundred percent. Top pit bull with me. Oh yeah, steady boy. <laughs> Yo, it's your boy Nathan Hector. Shout out my brother Reese. Good luck in your fight. Go out there, smash it up. Bring the trophy home, man. You already know. Reese, supporting you brother, I was a big fan of your father's back in the day growing up and this fight is going down in history bro, I'll be there, I'll be showing love, get him champ. Do your dad proud, let's get that belt, let's go. I'm so sorry to hear about the sad news man, but I know you're going to make it up bro. I mean when I heard the news that he passed away, I, I was, I was absolutely devastated, I mean what a, what a legend, he's with you, we're with you. Good luck. You'll do great. Good there, mate. Yeah? Yeah. You're too bad on track then, or what? It's working, mate. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. Right. Alright, Bill. Five minutes, mate. Be on our way. Yeah, tell mate. Alright, Reese, listen. I just want to say this now, in case I don't get a chance to later, alright? Thank you for making me feel alive again, all right? Because I tell you, these last few weeks, it's meant the world to me. I was in a really dark place, mate, before you come along, all right? And that's down to you, okay? So let's go out there and let's show me who you are, right? Eh? Up you get, eh? Yep. Come on. Yeah, good, good. good. Reese, no mercy, boy. Slip, slip, right hook, left hook, double jab, right uppercut, left uppercut, slip, slip, right hook, left hook. Double jab, right up cut, left up cut. Lovely, good, good, good. Yeah. Come on, come on. Good, you Let's do this. Let's do this. Now trouble is easy. Don't resist. Oh. Stop kicking and change Reese? I'm so sorry, guys. Now, mate, we're good. I invited her. She's with us. Good luck out there, okay?
I'm so so proud of you that's all that's that's all I can to say Jack is gonna win isn't it cross she is come on for it about the boy now, it's all about the future. This evening, we pay tribute to Jack No Mercy Mercy, who sadly passed away this year. Tonight, the undisputed champion, Dante Sharp, will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the prodigal son. Lights are off, time has stopped, read you loud and clear Come on, talk, won't you talk, bring it over here This could be in my mind, this could be in my mind But I think I'm seeing signs, I'm about to make it mine <laughs> It's harder than I thought. Remember what we've done in training, yeah? Okay? All right, start moving around the ring with your feet, pick him off with your jab. All right? All right, remember, this is for your dad, yeah? Now get your family back together. Good boy. Let's go and do what we've done in training, eh? Come on. You're out. And the ref has called it. Dante Sharp goes down in round seven. This is a massive victory for the challenger, Roy. Indeed, Eamon. And one can only imagine how he's feeling right now. Proud of you. Listen to that. They're chanting your name. Your dad would be proud of you. I've got big plans for the next fight. No, come on. I don't think so. 
Reese, we're family. Family? You're just interested in the money. Jog on. Let's just recap. The son of British boxing legend Jack Mercy has done it. After weeks of facing scrutiny from the public, he certainly has had a lot to live up to, and that can't have been easy, Eamon. Please, yes, yes,